family. Welcome to another episode of The Urban Mystic. I'm Skip Jennings. I am your spiritual inspirational teacher right here in the garden. And it is a great month. A great month because we are talking about abundance consciousness. We're talking about plentitude and more demonstration in your life of abundance. My friends, one thing you want to know, there is no lack and limitation in the consciousness of God. So we step off this episode talking about that. The action plan. Last week we talked about the blocks. This week we're talking about action plan to see more demonstration of abundance. So let's start off with our key words. The first key word, my friends, we're going to talk about is materialism. Materialism is one of those things that we are so stuck in. We must buy this so we can be happy. We must consume this for us to have a better life. Materialism is one of those things that really stops the flow of abundance because when it's all about materialism and getting and getting and getting, we can never get enough to be satisfied. So release consumerism, release getting, and allow abundance to happen. That is the letting. Here's your next word. We're talking about money. Money is just an energy. Money is just an energy. It's a promissory note. It's a promissory note to activate more God in your life. It's great having money, but that is not abundance. It is a demonstration of abundance, but is not the absolute power of God itself. The absolute power of God itself is abundance. It's not money. So here's one of those verses that we've heard all the time that money is the root of all evil. But that's not really what it says. It is the love of money is the root of all evil. Now, I only believe that evil is around the consciousness. If we're going after money, after money, after money, and that love of going after money blocks us from really tapping into God, that is a little bit evil. So we need to understand that action plan. Money is not abundance. It is a demonstration and it's a small demonstration teeny tiny demonstration of abundance. Next word, growth. Allow the abundance to grow because that's what abundance does. In this action plan week, taking action is allowing the abundance to grow. That what you see right in front of you can be bigger. Like you look at an ocean and it goes on and on and on and on. Think about your abundance. It goes on and on and on. It grows. God is expanding so is abundance in your life. Action plan. Know that it can grow. It can expand. Here's the next action word we're talking about is production. Abundance is a form of production. Abundance is absolutely the production of God in your life. Being one in God, understanding that you're one in abundance, knowing that the demonstration and the production of that is energy-based. It is energy-based. So know this, your vibration that you send out, that you radiate, the law of radiation, we radiate and we get back what we radiate. If you radiate abundance, it's going to produce more abundance in your life. Here's your next key word, development. What are you willing to use your abundance to develop? See, there are kids out there in your life. There are people out there in your life. There are people who have great ideas in their life and they want you to help them to develop those ideas? Are you willing to use your abundance to help to develop someone else? Here's your next and final word, structure. Here's what I believe, that there is structure in abundance. There is structure. Once you have a great demonstration of abundance in your life, there must be structure. One of the things we see here in L.A. is all the celebrities that are out there and they get all this wealth and there is no structure. And their life is run riot. So, structure. The structures in God. One of the things I ask myself always when I'm about to spend something, God, do I really need this? Is it going to help someone else? That's adding in structure. I'm turning to God, turning to source to have structure in my life around my abundance. And it works, my friends. It works. So here we go. 
Here's your seven day challenge. Can we add structure into our life? For seven days, can you ask that big question, God, do I need to spend my abundance in this direction? Or God, would you ask, would you want me to spend my abundance in this direction? Turn to source and see how your life grows around abundance. So affirmations, here we go. Take time, close your eyes, take a deep breath in. Hmm. Today's affirmation. Just for today, just for this moment, just for this breath, my life is expanding with a deeper expression of abundance. Let's do that again. Just for today, just for this moment, just for this breath, my life is expanding with a deeper expression of abundance. Hmm. Use that energy. Let it shift your life. Let it move to a deeper awareness that you are one in God. Therefore, you can have anything that you want. You can develop and create your life any way you see fit because you are a co-creator with God. So remember, my friends, we are here to help you out. Plenty of practitioners here at Soul Garden. So check them out. Make sure that you spread the word of Soul Garden out there in the world. Remember, the revolution is being televised right now. Tell your friends about Soul Garden. Until next time, I'm Skip Jennings. Soul Garden.